Bonjour, j'espère que vous avez révisé les pronoms personnels. In my last videos, I have covered the entire topic of pronoms personnels. And today I am going to start with the question of this topic. So I hope that you are ready with your notebook. On va commencer. First part, Marie, uh, je suis désolé, Marc écrit une lettre. Marc écrit une lettre. I have not underlined the nouns. You should, you know, you should be able to figure out the nouns yourself. Whatever is written with an article, that's a noun. So in this first sentence, we have to replace iun lettre. You can even replace mark with pronoun sujet. But right now, I'm just taking the case of one pronoun. I'm going to take the double pronoun uh, placement in my next video. So let's start. Mark ekri iun lettre. Iun lettre, do you remember? Which pronoun person we are going to take for iun lettre? Les articles indéfini. It was on. Très bien. So, Mark, on, écrit. Très bien. Next part, elle a pensé à ses vacances. Elle a pensé à ses vacances. So, we're thinking about something. So, when we think about something, it's which pronoun personnel? I. Très bien. L. And it's a passé composer, so it has to be before the first verb. L. E. A. Pensé. She's thinking about it. Next part, nous avons écouté la radio. La radio, can you see? There is no preposition in the sentence. So which pronoun personnel are we going to write? Le pronoun direct. Nous l'avons écouté. Is it right? What do you think? Is it right? So it's a pronoun direct case. And it is also past tense. So I have to add one more e. Très bien. Okay. Accords. According to the word radio. So feminine. Okay. So I'm going to add one more e. Next part. Il téléphone à ses parents. So now we have the preposition a. So with a we write pronoun. Et direct. Très bien. In person. So il leur téléphone. Excellent. Let's move on to the next part. J'achète des fleurs pour mon père. So if I want you to replace mon père. It's something after the preposition. So we're going to write which pronouns? J'achète des fleurs pour which pronouns? Louis. Pronoun tonique. After the preposition. So pour Louis. Next part, il est revenu de France. So preposition de is given. Whenever D or any other form of D is given, it's always en. Très bien. So il, on a, revenu. Even if you're talking about a place, but D preposition is there, that's why we're going to write en. Seventh part, nous irons au marché. We'll be going to the market. So nous, Nous irons au marché. So, nous i, irons. We'll be going there. We're talking about the place. Marie et Sophie sont grandes. So, in this, what we have to replace? We need to replace the names. And the names we're going to replace with? Pronom sujet. Très bien. L, son, so what you can do is you can just pause this video, note down the sentences, do it yourself and then check your answers. Okay, that's going to help you. Next part, nous avons mangé du pain. So du, again the D family. So we will be writing, nous avons nous avons mangé. Last part, il pense à sa mère. I've already covered this rule in my previous videos. Ponce, followed with person. Always prono tonique. Okay. It's not indirect case. It is prono tonique. So, il pense à elle. He's thinking about her. I hope you have practiced this question well. If you want me to discuss any of the grammar topics or any other topic of friend, Put it down in the comment section and I will be more than happy to help. I am going to see you in the next video. For